Okay, I've got a complete clutch kit here. Let's open it up and see what all we got in there. A new clutch disc. It's pretty nice. A new pressure plate. Nice and shiny. There's what the throw out bearing rides on. We got a clutch alignment tool. Of course, clutch and pressure plate will be going on the back of the motor. There's a new needle bearing bushing that goes in the gland nut on the back of the motor or the front of the motor whichever you want to call it it's where the clutch and pressure plate goes there we got some high performance grease and these two little clips right here that's what holds the throw out bearing in okay so here's probably the throw out bearing this uh, sax brand they've been making parts for Volkswagen for years and years. But that's what it looks like right there. It's a nice and smooth. This is the part that faces out, rides against your uh, pressure plate. And this this side goes in this way. That clips right in there. You can't see that yet, but you will in a minute. Okay, this is where the fun begins. There's your throw out bearing. See that side's plain. This side here's got the, the race that goes against your pressure plate. That goes out. That little curved section there fits in the little curved section there. Just like that okay now these little clips that I showed you earlier see how it's got that little hook on one side this fits the straight side fits in that hole right there like that on both sides. Then that clips around behind this arm and the little knots on the back. And we're going to need a flat screwdriver, a pair of pliers, and whatever else we can get, whatever else we need to get them on there. It's real easy to pinch your fingers or stab your finger with a screwdriver, and I hope none of that happens today. We're going to try it. Uh, I'm going to turn off the sound because I may get verbal, and we don't want that on. I mean, on a uh, YouTube. So y'all just watch and bear with me. Oh yeah, one more thing here, real quick. This high performance grease. We want to put a little dab right in here where that throw out bearing rides on both sides. And a little bit on the back side in that notch where that clip rides. Those are high wear areas. And you're not done with it then, we 
when you go to put your clutch in and stuff, you want to put a little bit on the shaft, especially on the end here where it rides in the uh, the needle bearing in your gland nut. Alrighty. I'll play some nice soothing music for y'all. trick is on on the first side you start is to stick it in there first and then you see me do it then slide the throw up bearing onto it and that kind of helps hold it up there in place and then you got to fight the other side to get it on there but it wasn't terrible now we'll uh, depress the clutch and check see how it all moves Well, there you have it. That's how you install it. I'll bring you in a little closer here and let you take a look. Zoom in. He's throwing a pressure plate clutch on the back of the motor next. Hey, how y'all doing? This is the old Y'all, some of y'all may remember this motor. This is a 1776 that I built back a couple years ago for the uh, Yellow Baja, the 64. Uh, old motor still running good, running strong. Uh, the old 64, she had an unfortunate accident though. She, uh, I got hit in the driver's side on the rear wheel and it bent the axle and it bent the uh, torsion tube, the rear torsion tube. And you know, it's it's probably repairable and I might get to that eventually, be another project to do. Uh, actually, I'm thinking about putting it on a, another chassis. But that's a future project that we'll work on. And I don't know if y'all can see the blue one behind it, the blue 67. That's another project car I've been working on. I uh, haven't filmed any of that, 
and I wish I had them, but I haven't. So, yeah, but I may bring y'all in on some of the, the finishing touches on it, bring y'all up to date on it. But right now, we're going to pull this old pressure plate and clutch disc out and put in the new one. And I'll show you how to do that. Of course, you may already know how to do it, but these these bolts around it here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six bolts. Uh, if it's wore out, you don't really have to worry about it, but this this uh, pressure plate and clutch is still good. I just wanted to put new new stuff in it, so I'll save this, stick it back in, a, in case something happens and I need a clutch and a pressure plate and I don't want to go buy a new one. But they're about $130, $140 new for the for the kit that I bought. But let's get to it. I'll try not to get in your way too much. I may have to put a flywheel lock on this. Probably be ahead if I did. So, like I was saying, yeah, let me put a flywheel lock on that. This is a little tool that's really handy if you can pick one up. Oh, man. Anyway little tool it's got a bolt and a nut and this goes on it's got two different sizes just pick the size that fits your flywheel just like that and you put the nut on behind it It would help if I did that. And we'll put a little tight on that. that. Looks like nine sixteenths. Probably enough to hold it. Okay, these bolts we're working on, they're a 13 millimeter head. But as you can see, the flywheel lock works great. Turn these off about a half a turn to a turn each time. More important when you're putting on a new one. Reason being, if you loosen off a couple of these on one side, the spring in here that holds this pressure plate spring, it's under tension. So when you tighten these or loosen them, if you go off too much one side, it can bend these springs and it's junk after that. Especially important when you're putting together a new one. Sorry, I keep putting my head in the way. Can't see what I'm doing. You want to hold a little pressure on this on your last bolt or it will fall off. There we 
go. Push plate. Clutch disc. Got a little water on it. I washed her down earlier. Got some water on it. Now it's a good idea to break this glaze off this flywheel. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to rub some sandpaper on it. a little bit got some 400 grit here you don't want to get too crazy with it I'm going to work out a little bit and I'll bring you back in a minute. Alright, I checked the torque on these for my specific model. I always check the torque for your specific model before applying torque. Uh, but these torqued 18 foot-pounds. Uh, my torque wrench here is in inch-pounds. And that's uh, 218 inch pounds multiplied by 12. So, if you want to do this in a crisscross pattern, I think I'm already there, past. Think you got them all? Just go around the tree, make sure you got them all. Then we pull out our alignment tool, clutch is in, it's ready to go on the motor. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this one. Uh, join me for the next video. We'll put this motor in that buggy, chase out some of the bugs it's got. I know of a few that I've got to have to work on, uh, see if we can't get it running. Thanks for watching. See y'all next time. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hey, how y'all doing? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my shop. Uh, today I'm gonna be putting that motor in that buggy over there. Uh, sure is hot today. It's about 85 here in the shop, but it's like 90 outside. No, I don't have air, it's just fans blowing in here. Uh, been hot and humid. Had a lot of rain lately. Skeeters are out. So I'm trying to fight them off. And anyway, without further ado, let's get started. Oh yeah, one more thing. I'm going to be doing things a little different in my videos from now on. I'm going to be doing some silent 
movies type thing because copyright infringements on music, you know. But I'll turn the music off and turn the fan off when I've got something important to say or something just I just want to say it may not be important, but <laughs> anyway. Hope y'all enjoy the video. Thanks. There you go, guys. It's in. Four bolts holds it in in the back here. I don't know if you can see them or not. Kind of stuff kind of in the way here. There's one, two on top, two on the bottom. You're kind of tough to get to pretty easy on a buggy you ain't got all the stuff in the way I'm sure I'm sure a lot of y'all have done this if not there's lots of other videos that show how to put a motor in a Volkswagen so probably more detailed than what I am I was struggling a little bit there that last half inch trying to get it to go in and I was pretty confident that it was already in the splines of the uh, clutch disc so uh, I loosened the starter up on it and that's what it was it just it slid right on in a few other things to do now we got to get her the wiring hooked up uh, the fuel line it's got to be hooked up um, oil cooler oil cooler and the oil filter and all that stuff still got to be hooked up um, up here in the front I've got some issues with this throttle linkage it's not wanting to work I'm probably going to change all that out uh, I was told that they had this out on the dunes uh, running around so sand is real bad on your pedal assembly getting sand in there and locking stuff up and gets in the cables and locks stuff up this old buggy had an old I'm not sure what kind of winch that is it's some kind of a winch but uh there's no control cable for it so probably removing that took the front bumper off of it because it was all bent to heck I'll make a new one for that a couple of issues right here you can see the support tube here is broke it's also broke on the other side right down in there I'll cut them out put some new ones in we'll make a new bumper for it get the throttle linkage cleaned up operational um, the shifter, the button don't want to engage for reverse. Got to see what's going on with that. Also, this instrument panel back here between the seats. I don't know what they was thinking putting that there. I'm going to move that up here on the front. Be more better. I've got some seat cushions that come with it. They're pretty ratty and old. Uh, I may make do with them for a little bit until we get it running good. And then I'll buy some new seat cushions for it. And it needs a paint job. So what color do y'all think I should paint it? Yeah, she's got some rust on it. She needs a paint. She needs some paint. Well, I think that's going to conclude this video. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, join me next time. We'll start addressing some of the other issues on it, get it wired up, get it started, be a plus. But I gotta get to get it wired up, plumbed up, 
and check out a couple of things on there I showed you a minute ago. So appreciate y'all watching, and be sure to like us. Be sure to like and subscribe. Man, I got all tongue twisted on that one. All right, so yeah. See y'all later.